Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryden Matolo and we're here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC mine tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back guys, this video is all about on how to install add-on pairs. Now I know you guys are going to say I have already did a video about this before but I'm going to do an, another one and this time I'm going to do it really slow and I'm going to do it step by step because there's still thousands of people out there that are still having trouble on how to install this mod. This mod is so simple and easy guys, okay? I don't know why there's a lot of people out there that's having trouble installing it. So make sure that you guys do install this mod inside a clean folder, okay? If this mod does not work for you, then make sure you install it inside a clean folder. Because sometimes that other mods does affect this mod to work, okay guys? So make sure you, that you guys do install this mod inside a clean folder like what like me okay so so guys uh like always make sure you download all of the requirements that's inside my description below and make sure that your requirements is the latest version once you guys have finished downloading the requirements download the mod okay i will be leaving this mod inside my description below so make sure you guys download the mod and yes guys inside the inside the comments as you guys can see there is still a lot of people having trouble okay like someone is having trouble with the l button and someone is having trouble with the game crashes and yeah people did people just say that it doesn't work and some people say that the mod is trash so guys i am gonna be helping you okay Please guys make sure you do listen to this tutorial because it does work okay. I tried it like five times okay and it does work okay. So here we go guys. Let's get straight into the tutorial. Now all you guys got to do is step one. Download the mod. Open up your browser okay and download the mod. Once you guys have done that okay wait for a few seconds it depends on your pc performance and then now download the mod inside your desktop okay now this is the really important mod okay download the paired selector okay the paired selector are the ones that makes the our button work okay so download paired selector i will leave this link inside my description too and download it to your desktop now we have completed step one step two open up your add-on peers extract folder and then drag it towards the side now step three go to your Grand Theft Auto V game Hover over it, right click and open file location. Now, now as you guys can see, this is a complete clean folder. There's absolutely no mods in here, except for a mods folder. So what we're gonna do guys, is that we are going to install all the requirements. So over here is all the requirements that I that I download, okay? So make sure that you guys download all the requirements, okay? That's in some of the description below. So the next step, okay, step four, is we are going to install the requirements. So open up your script hook V extract folder. Go into your bin folder and select input 8.dll and scripthookv.dll drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. If this application pops up, 
all you gotta do is replace files that's it now go back to your main folders and then now uh, open up your scripthookv.net extract folder and now select scripthookv.net.asi.dllnxml drag those three files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder now we are going to install the trainers open up your trainer v extract folder and select trainer v.asi and .ini drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder open up your menu extract folder and select menu stuff folder and menu.asi drag both files inside your GTA V main folder now what we're gonna do guys is that all you gotta do okay is right click and refresh the folder right click again and then create a new folder and name that folder scripts make sure that you guys do spell it quick um make sure that you guys do spell scripts properly because sometimes people will spell scripts folder as s c r i p t and most people leave the s out so make sure that you spell it by s c r r i p t s because most people leave the s out and it does not work okay so press enter once press enter again and then now open up your native ui extract folder and then now select native ui dot dil file and drag it inside your sketch folder now that's all you got to do okay guys the next step is open up your peer selector extract folder wait for a few seconds and now drag it towards the side open up the peer selector folder inside the extract folder and now select peer selector.dll and drag it inside your script folder that's all you guys gotta do okay exit out of your peer selector the next step you guys gotta do okay is that as you guys can see we've got a drc packs okay so the drc packs must be installed inside your mods folder inside my mods folder i got absolutely nothing so if you guys are starting inside a clean folder okay then don't worry okay i will provide you a update folder so inside my description i will leave a update folder for you guys to download okay so all you guys got to do is download the update folder inside my description okay and then all you got to do is download it and copy the update folder and then now uh, paste it inside your mods folder and that's all you guys got to do okay drc packs must be installed inside your mods folder okay guys so that's why i am going to provide you guys my update folder so you guys can install it inside your mods folder okay so as you guys can see now um in my mods folder i've got an update folder so go to your mods folder go to updates go to time 64 go to drc packs yeah so guys all you guys gotta do now is go to your drc packs click on add on peers folder and drag it inside your grand theft auto v drc packs now that's all you guys gotta do and go back to your grand theft auto v main folder and now go back to your extract folder and now select add on peers editor.exe and add on peers vast.xml select both of them and drag them both inside your main folder now the next step what we're going to do guys is open up your readme.html file now just scroll down the bottom just only a little bit more and you'll see a passcode right here copy the code just copy this item code okay copy the code copy now exit out of here minimize this okay now all you guys got to do okay is make sure warning okay guys a big fat warning 
do not, okay, do not put this PeteSelector.dll inside your scripts folder because you already got one, you got it from my Pete Selector, okay, so make sure that you guys don't install that, if you do install that, then, then the L button will not work, okay. Really important guys, you must have a native UI.dll and peer selector to work, okay? Now the next step, what we, now guys, the next step what we are going to do is that we are going to install it, install the code inside OpenIV. So open up your OpenIV. Go to your Grand Auto V Windows. Now, this will take a few seconds, it depends on your PC performance. Go to edit mode, edit mode, and select yes. Mods folder, go to update, go to update.rpf. Go to common, go to data, scroll right down the bottom, and find drclist.xml right there. Hover over it, right click, and edit. Scroll right down the bottom, Click over here, okay, guys, and press enter once, and then paste your code right there, guys. That's all you gotta do, and then save. Go back to your DRC list.xml, double check to see if it's there, and yes, it is. Now exit out of your application, and then now click on edit mode, and then click on GTAV, and then exit out of your OpenIV. Exit out of your extract folder, go back to your granted order V folder and right click and refresh your folder. Then close down your game folder, right click and refresh your desktop and I'll see you guys in the game. And now guys we are back with Franklin. So what we gotta do here, okay, is that we're gonna go and come outside of here where there's a lot of a lot of space, okay? And now to those of you guys, okay, if you have seen my tutorial, okay, and I started this tutorial with a clean folder. So now, here we go, guys. We're going to go and test the add-on peds menu. So to open up your add-on peds menu is to press your L key. And, and now, guys, here it goes. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And see, guys, it works. It works. Now, I don't know why everybody out there is having problems with this mod. Uh, so, yes, guys, it works. Okay, let's do it one more time. Our key right there. See, guys, it works. So, yes, guys, basically, that's how you install add on pins. And, yes, my game did not crash. And, I am, and you see it, guys, right there. And it works, okay? So, I don't know why a lot of people is having trouble with this mod. So guys, make sure you do follow the tutorial. Remember guys, the native UI.dll and the peer selector.dll are the two main important mods to install inside your script folder. So guys, that is all we have for now. Just to let you guys know that if the mod does not work, okay, then I highly recommend you installing this mod inside a clean folder which means a nice clean folder with no mods inside it okay with no other mods inside your gta v folder okay guys sometimes if the game does not work okay and if the mod does not work other mods does affect this mod to work okay so that's why it's best to install this mod inside a clean folder so you can find out which mod is affecting it to work okay guys so guys, I hope you guys do enjoy the video, and don't forget guys, if you are having trouble installing this mod, okay, then I am highly recommend you to let me know, okay, and I'll be more than welcome to help you guys out, okay. So with that all said guys, I hope you guys do enjoy this video, if you guys did, then smash that like button, and subscribe for more daily gaming content, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching guys, peace and I'm out.